This is the GPU that Intel didn't want to sell you. Nvidia bet the farm on AI. But they couldn't bet on VRAM, so we got another card that's going to give it to you. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're going to be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast this Wednesday, August 9th, 2023. I don't like how fast the year is going. It keeps marching forward like a clock that is ticking. What is life? but love, liberty, and your friends. And what is Intel, but graphics and CPUs and stuff? Terrible segue, you set me up very poorly <laughs> for that one. But turns out that one of the GPUs that Intel never released, at least to regular consumers, the ARC A580 is finding its way to retail, at least if you're willing to buy from AliExpress. Over on the old Express, you can pick it up for $336. Now, for those of you paying attention at home, that's a lot more than yeah. the other GPUs that are out on the market. So. The 335 is actually more than the A750, which is under $300. And if you look at Intel's own charts, the A580 uh, slower than the A750. So the only reason you'd pick one of these bad boys up is maybe if you're a YouTuber who wants to make YouTube videos about it and talk about the thing that Intel never sold anybody. Now there is a little bit of like, it's not quite clear if this is a real product because they're using the ARC A770 box. Yeah, that's so that. that's you, that. you don't know what it's going to come in as. It's typically AliExpress GPUs aren't really that risky, but they do have an 81.9% positive feedback. That seems a little low. Yeah, that seems that's... like they send a Bobcat in one out of every five shipments. I'll take my chances. But you know what you should take your chances on? Today's what? video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Morgan and Morgan. You might remember that the UFD tech team recently just drove all the way across America and back for LTX 2023. And in that time, we covered over eight thousand miles of road and saw some incredible sights but we also saw some bad driving practices as well i'm always mildly worried on our drive streams about getting into an accident but thankfully i know the one thing i wouldn't be daunted by is the process of getting an injury claim submitted and while thankfully i didn't have to use them from our drive stream with morgan and morgan submitting an injury claim is so easy morgan and morgan has modernized the injury law process so you can submit a claim and have it reviewed by a lawyer without ever having to leave the couch you can sign documents, upload pictures, share medical records, and doctor's bills all from your phone. You can even text with your attorney and case manager without ever having to go into an office. And when you're injured in an accident, hiring an attorney is one of the first things you should do. More than 3 million people have trusted Morgan & Morgan when they're injured in an accident. And if you're ever in an accident, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. You can submit a claim in eight clicks or less, and you can have America's largest injury law firm fighting for you. You can get started at forthepeople.com forward slash UFD or dial pound law. That's pound 529 from yourself. Big thanks again to Morgan & Morgan for sponsoring today's video. And I'm going to try to communicate NVIDIA's new GPU news to you in eight clicks or less. So just you keep clicking your screen while I talk about it. Let's see if we get it done in time. Eight clicks on the YouTube thing would be like you'd have to double tap to get 10 seconds and then each further tap is I've got, I've got between 40 and 60 seconds and I'm wasting all of it. Anyways, they had their SIGGRAPH announcement yesterday where they talked about a whole bunch of AI stuff and debuted their most powerful AI GPU ever. You have the GH200 Grace Hopper Super Chip, which is going to be up to three times faster than the current H100, at least when it comes to memory intensive large language model workloads. It's going to have 3.5 times more memory capacity, three times more bandwidth, as well as having 144 Neoverse cores, eight petaflops of AI. AI performance and 282 gigabytes of the latest brand spanking new HBM 3E memory, which can go up to 10 terabytes per second of collective bandwidth. You just made up all those words. I'm just saying this thing is supposed to be at least insanely faster compared to everything that's currently out on the market. They also showed off a bunch of workstation cards with a few updates hither there and hither to up to 48 gigabytes of RAM, as well as being very expensive. But one of them does come in a single slot format. So the RTX 4000 ADA, this bad boy. Okay. 130 watt TDP, single slot GPU. Sell me on it more. Look at it, it's so thin. You can't use it because you need, you're not gonna be able to cool it. And I don't even know what those connectors are for. This is not for you at home, but if you, if you want the most powerful single slotted GPU ever, it's right there. Hopefully I 
finish that in time. But one of the most important things that Jensen talked about at SIGGRAPH yesterday and something that we as gamers probably need to be paying heavy attention to is the fact that he mentioned that he bet the entire company on AI back in 2018. The idea that gamers or anything when it comes to the consumer electronics is gonna be at the forefront of their mind, just, just dismiss that. We are no longer, there's no point. Not in, happening. There's no indication that they give a crap about gaming at all, it's likely that they just have to keep us around long enough to make this transition, and we're gonna have to wait for other companies to potentially pick up the slack. But he said that we realized rasterization was reaching its limits. 2018 was a bet the company moment. It required that we reinvent the hardware, the software, the algorithms, and while we were reinventing CG with AI, we were in reinventing the GPU for AI. Now, they might try to sell you how you need AI for gaming and DLSS frame gen and all that kind of stuff, but it really boils down to they're making all of this tech for their most profitable clients and then they're trying to trickle it down and be like how do we how do we get how do we convince gamers that this is good we frame still we, generation yeah generate those frames they still need us for right now but that's that's not going to be for very long sad very sad but if you want to know more about amd's upcoming gpus you could be a little bit sad as well because eec filings are coming out from asrock talking about their latest gpus you have the 7800 xt with 16 gigabytes of vram and the 7700 xt with 12 gigabytes of vram you know who else gives you 12 gigabytes who? nvidia 4070 4070 ti which this would be a direct competitor to except for the 4070 ti is beaten out by the 7900 xt so it's kind of it's weird same classic card but AMD wins in performance, it's, you need more VRAM. Yeah. They're not giving us enough VRAM. And you're not giving me enough deals. Give me more deals. And welcome back to said deals. Oh yeah, you were I was, I was transitioning out, it doesn't matter yeah, anymore. Yeah. All we, good, we, all good. Starting off with this Logitech G502X wired gaming mouse for only $49.99, making it $30 off for either the black or the white version. Take the your The white pick. one's really pretty. I like it. I That's, like that. It's nice. I've seen it in person and it's, mm, you want to eat it? I do. That's weird. And next we have the Team Group MP33 Gen 3 NVMe M.2 SSD. With this two terabyte version going for only $65.99, making it $35 Are you off. you kidding me? 66, dang, storage, dang. And then lastly, we have this ASRock Phantom Gaming B550 PG Velocita. I don't know how to say that, but so it's- So <laughs> we talked to ASRock at Computex and they were like, yeah, we got rid of that branding because people didn't know how to pronounce it. Checks out. <laughs> which is currently going for only $129.99, making it $90 off. And with that, the deals are done. You can find these and more linked in the video description down below. But until next time, I'm gonna hand you off back to this guy for the rest of your hot news. By the power of friendship. Wow, many good deals, Reese. But Zoom has a better deal for you. Oh, you know no. that AI stuff we were talking about yeah. that was in the privacy policy, how they could use all of your video conferencing for their data serving needs? They're reversing that. Oh, it, it, all it took was public out uproar after five months of it being in the public policy. And now it's been changed and PayPal is changing. They're now a crypto company. Did you know you can buy and sell crypto through PayPal? It's been I a thing not. for several years. I did not. The new thing is they have their own stable coin now. So PayPal coin is now, or PayPal USD, whatever you want to call it, is pegged to the US dollar. It's a one for one exchange. It's backed by US treasuries and actual US dollar deposits. With other stable coins, it's always like, do they actually have the cash reserves? It's always like, yeah. a question of, is the money actually in the bank? PayPal is like- It's pretty big. It, it's not too big to fail and it's yeah. not too big to get depegged, but yeah. hey, PayPal into crypto, it doesn't look like crypto has died, even though we don't do crypto stocks anymore. <laughs> That's that's the noise that Robert Halleck made. Do you know who that guy is? I don't know who that He was is. the former technical marketing executive over at AMD. I believe you. Now he's at Intel. I believe you. We that saw this a lot. We saw this happen a lot, especially like 2019, 2020. As Intel was trying to ramp up their GPU side of things, they got Raja Kadori as well as a whole host of other people. And now Robert Halleck, after a sabbatical, took a little sabbatical to focus on aftermarket car mods. Now he's back in the exact same role at Intel. He's the senior director of technical marketing. Bro has hobbies. It's something that Intel definitely needs. I mean, they I, I like their technical marketing with Ryan Shrout as well as Tom Peterson. They've done a very good job adding Robert Hollick. You could argue that some of uh, AMD's marketing has been a little cringe, especially when they chose to reveal a GPU in Fortnite. I'll never let that die. Wait, I remember that guy. He was on one of the AMD presentations. Yes, yes, yeah. good. That's, he's now at Intel. You'll see him in Intel presentations now. 
Sorry, I just clicked. There you go. Yeah, yeah. you just needed to see his face. Yeah. And you know what somebody did to the Steam Deck? They clicked in a little bit more RAM. On a Steam Deck? On a Steam Deck! 32 gigs of RAM! A modder deciding that he wanted to add extra RAM and then also create a custom BIOS mod in order to get it working. Oh. No benchmarks, nothing to really like super prove it's real besides a picture and a screenshot of it happening. I believe it's real. The Steam Deck's not necessarily guaranteed to use all of that RAM, but considering it's shared memory like a console, that could be good. Could lead to extra performance. Valve's never gonna give it to you. They're never gonna give you a faster Steam Deck. No, you, you go buy something else or you, you get solder and flux. Do it yourself. Do it yourself. But in case you want to use Steam Deck that somebody soldered and fluxed all over the valve, sold them at least, they're out of stock now, allegedly. They were selling refurbished Steam Decks for the low, low price of 320 for the 64 gig and 520 for the 512 gig, roughly around the price that like the Steam Summer Sale had yeah. them at. So not a crazy discount, but a lot of people did decide to pick them up at those decent prices. But let's talk about somebody modding their GPU. Actually, it's on sale. It's kind of weird, okay? NVIDIA won't give you 16 gigabytes of VRAM. They just won't do it, or if they do it, they're gonna charge you a whole heck of a lot for it. If you want an RX 580 with 16 gigabytes of RAM, yeah, I didn't stutter. This GPU that's seven years old, yeah, six years old. Yeah, it's a throwback. Old. It's an old girl. She now has 16 gigabytes of VRAM being sold with a placeholder amount of a US equivalent of $83. 16 gigabytes of VRAM yeah. for $83. NVIDIA charges you $100 more for the 4060 Ti to get eight more gigabytes of VRAM. The numbers, they don't make sense, but just to prove that it could be done, they actually have benchmarks showing off things. They have the GPU-Z showing that it is indeed an RX 580 2048 SP with 16 gigabytes of GDDR5 VRAM. So that is a little bit of a knockdown. So that $83 price, you know, you could have some wiggle room there, but. 499 for a 4060 Ti 16 gig. Yeah. We can't let that. This. <laughs> it's gonna be definitely slow. No, no, VRAM no. doesn't make a graphics card. Let's be very clear about that. No, no, you, all the videos said so. Oh. I, I saw them. Oh, dang, okay. I forgot to watch the videos. Yeah. Oh, all of them. All of them did. Anyways, more VRAM. NVIDIA could do it. They choose not to because they're stuffing it all in their AI GPUs. But those are HBM. But it doesn't matter. They don't want to give you nothing because they don't like you. That is the takeaway. Yes. You're not going to give them a thousand percent margin on their graphics cards because you're poor and broke and only want to play Baldur's Gate. I want to play Baldur's Gate. NVIDIA doesn't want to condone the bear thing. That's essentially what this comes down to. Yeah. And I'm not going to make you bear with me anymore.